Hi, my name is Marissa and welcome to our home. I noticed a recent plant trend in creating greenhouse cabinets using IKEA furniture and I thought I could do something a little bit similar but also different. And the fact that there are tons of cabinets on Facebook Marketplace that I see all the time when I'm just looking for good affordable furniture that is secondhand and more sustainable. And so I thought I would create a video on how we made this beauty but also to what we use it for. The cabinet was in need of structural repair first and foremost. The center brace had become unattached and prevented the door from closing properly, so we used wood glue and nails to reattach, then applied a clamp for support while the glue cured. Today's episode of this old cabinet. <laughs> Using a drill with a hole saw bit, we created a circle at the base for our power cords to plug into a power strip outside of the unit. To restore and protect the wood from high humidity and clumsy watering, I spill every time, we then made a beeswax finish using a historic recipe. I got this beeswax from a local beekeeper at my favorite farmer's market and would encourage you to try and shop local as well. This vendor doesn't always have wax at their honey stand so I coordinated pickup on Instagram and was so impressed by the quality. As for the recipe, I'll add the YouTube link I referenced below, but it's basically just equal parts beeswax, boiled linseed oil, and pine turpentine. Boiled linseed oil is a form of flaxseed which is mixed with solvents to help make it faster drying, um, but it's perfect for a preservative for wood, hemp, and masonry thanks to its water resistance properties. Pine turpentine is basically distilled tree blood. It sounds weird, but this stuff oozes out of conifers if the bark is broken to dry and seal wounds. It's composed of resins and volatile oils, which are also extremely flammable. Now this seems counterproductive in helping trees survive the threat of fire, but it's quite the opposite. Burn pine trees create an inferno around itself to bind nutrients inside of itself to return those very same nutrients to its kin in the surrounding areas, while also eliminating competition of other species of trees that aren't as fire tolerant. Mother Nature is seriously so cool.
I love how you can see such a difference between the finished interior versus the unfinished exterior. And I would highly recommend you use this recipe. The classical antiquity of this cabinet is what gravitated me toward it. I feel like it is truly perfect for my home. The glass shelving is perfect for light to shine down multiple levels and the mirror back helps reflect light for a 360 degree shine effect when factoring the glass side and front panels. There are many benefits in upcycling old cabinets for greenhouse use. In this particular case, I feel that the cabinet in this room elevates the feng shui by adding a beautiful, unique appeal. I am so happy with how this secondhand, budget-friendly indoor greenhouse turned out. It truly matches my design aesthetic while providing a controlled environment with optimal growing conditions with respect to humidity, temperature, light, and airflow. Plus, it can help protect plants from pests and predators. In my case, it's an 18-month-old gardening enthusiast and squirrels hungry for seedlings. I will be doing a greenhouse cabinet tour within the near future, updating you on the status of my seedlings and reviewing equipment. But until then, check out our other videos on YouTube to see how we try to be more sustainable.